Hey Capricorn, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for August 1st to the 2nd of 2023. Alright, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Capricorn. Next 48 hours for Capricorn. Yarrow Expulsion. Mint Clarity, Chamomile Relax, Overall Energy is Black Pepper Banishment. So I feel like in the next 48, you could be doing um, yoga or meditation and just relaxing yourself and drinking tea. That's what I feel like you're doing in the next 48. Or you're doing some type of breathing exercises because I'm seeing a man sit in the living room and drinking tea in like a, um, they're sitting with their legs crossed on the floor and they're meditating. And I feel like this is not what they usually do. <laughs> I feel like this isn't what you usually do, but you're doing it today. You're tra you're practicing breathing exercises, uh, meditation or yoga, something to relax you. <clears throat> and it's working. All right, so let's get into the tarot for Capricorn. You don't have to be a man. I'm just saying that's what I see. <laughs> August 1st to the 2nd of 2023. And I feel like there's like after they finish, they're smiling. And they're like, dang, that was kind of easy. <laughs> and they're smiling like, dang, I should do this every day. Or I should do this more often. Because <laughs> I feel like maybe your, your thoughts were racing. <clears throat> and you just realize that breathing or meditation or doing something like that has calmed you down significantly. The High Priestess, Pisces energy. <clears throat> Knight of Wands. Two of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, I got a package. I uh, hope I don't have to sign because let me just ring the doorbell. Give me a second. No, nah, they just left it there. I'll get it after I'm done. The Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Nine of Pentacles can be Virgo energy. You could be dealing with one or have it highly aspected. And the Devil, there you are, Capricorn. Overall energy is the Nine of Wands. So you're persevering through something. You could have pulled your own cards, got a tarot reading, or I feel like you've reached a level of clarity about an impulsive action or situation. Yeah, I feel like um, with the high priestess you and clarity, you've gained some type of higher knowledge or clarity about a situation. I feel like you could have impulsively decided to move on or move forward or to remove an energy from your life or to leave an energy behind. And I feel like that was the right decision to make, even though you felt like it was impulsive or you did it really hastily, you did the right thing by like leaving a situation, moving forward from it. You've put yourself in a better position because the nine of pentacles, that's someone who's happily single or just happy and stable and abundant and independent, whether you're in a relationship or not. With the wheel of fortune, I feel like because of that impulsive decision to leave a situation or to like, yeah, because you see how he's standing in the window. It looks like he's about to leap or leave. It's something you left, whether it's a job, family situation, home, whatever it was, you made the right decision. And with the wheel of fortune and the devil, I feel like you're getting good karma for this, especially with you standing in your own energy with the nine of pentacles and the wheel of fortune. Yeah, you've been, it's, it's, I feel like you should just banish away like the thoughts. Cause I feel like right now you've already left the situation and you're already doing better, but with the Nine of Wands, I feel like you're, you're trying to guard away energies that may be trying to pull you back. Whether this is your thoughts or an actual person, let's clarify. It's telling you to keep going with the Nine of Wands, to persevere. And just banish any like self-doubting or negative thoughts or fear clarifying the high priestess is the page of cups a pleasant surprise yeah you getting clarity or you could have gotten a reading done or pulled your own cards 
and got some clarity with the high priestess or some actual knowledge about something like maybe you were trying to get knowledge about finances or something in regards to the situation, but you've gotten some clarity and some knowledge about a situation. Yeah, with the higher font, it could be involving government entities or something like that. You have the higher font clarifying the high priestess. So you're getting physical like confirmations as well as spiritual. So actual rules and laws and guidelines that affirm what you already felt intuitively. So like your spiritual and intuitive confirmations are aligning with the physical and material. And that's a pleasant surprise for you. So what you know to be true is being confirmed in the physical. It's aligning. I love that for you. Clarifying the Knight of Wands is the Nine of Pentacles again. So the impulsive decision to free yourself actually turned out in your favor. Your intuition was correct. You did the right thing. Page of Pentacles. It could have taken you a while to like actually do it, but you just did it and it worked. It may have taken you a while to get to this Nine of Pentacles, but you did it and it worked. Clarifying the Two of Wands or if you're, because everyone's at a different stage in this. So it's like, Wherever you are in this situation, I feel like a lot of you have already made the decision to go, but some of you are still deciding. It's not impulsive. You've been deliberating about this for a while. You've made the right decision. And I feel like if it feels like it's taking forever to get to this place of stability, you are going to get there. The Nine of Pentacles is here twice. You are going to get there and you're going to be happy you did it. But I feel like a lot of you are already there. Clarifying two of wands is the five of wands. Yeah, some people could have tried to like stop you from leaving. But with the two of wands, you've already gotten over the competition. You've already moved forward. You could have gotten away from people who were trying to compete with you. Ace of swords. Yeah, that's the truth. You've already, you're already beyond or above ahead of these people. The two of wands is someone who's already made the jump, who's already made the decision. So people are competing with something that's already happened. They're in the past. They're already thinking in the past. You're like way ahead of them. Clarifying the nine of pentacles is the five of swords. People could have criticized you, try to talk down about your financial standing or the way you look or what you're doing. But I mean, you're the nine of pentacles. So you've clearly shown nothing that they said made any sense or held any weight. I mean, come on, nine of pentacles here twice. Whatever they're saying is stemming from jealousy. They're just mad because they was arguing with a brick wall. They back there arguing with someone who's not even there. You already gone. So they're way behind. They just feel stupid that they didn't make the decision that you made. Maybe you left a job where you tried to tell people they're fucking us over and they're about we're about to go under. And no one listened and you left and you got out of there and you got a way better job or you're way better off because you already made the decision. And these people are mad and all they can do instead of trying to get out and get something better for them, they rather try to attack you. Queen of Swords. But I feel like you have tough skin. You have thick skin here. So you're not letting it get to you. There could be an air sign trying to do this or say things about you. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There's a Taurus here as well. There's Pisces here as well. And we have Virgo. And the Wheel of Fortune is Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, an investment, a long-term investment. Four of Cups. You may have felt like you invested in a situation. Because I'm, I'm feeling like this is a job, but this could be a relationship. Put it where it goes. For it to have the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords, could have been a toxic connection or friendship or um, a job. But I feel like now, I feel like you got out of it at the right time. You made the right decision and you are so much better for it. And the people who stayed are just mad. That's all it is. I feel like you got into something else at a great time. You invested at a great time. And I feel like people just feel like they missed out on this great opportunity. Or you're someone that they missed out on. Clarifying the devil is the king of cups. Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Ace of Pentacles. Yes. Yes. You got out at the right time. The opportunity's being given to you. I feel like it, you, you didn't miss anything with this Four of Cups. I feel like these people missed the boat. You didn't. You, invest, you got out and invested elsewhere at the perfect time. 
And there could be a water sign giving you this Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning, this abundance, this job opportunity. And it's perfect for you. Because I'm seeing this as, yeah, basically you left a toxic workplace and then you invested in something else at the perfect time. Or some of you could have started your own business and you just, you did the right thing. Over on the page of wands. So I feel like you get this impulsive need to get out or get away or do something and you did the right thing. And you're, you're going to be happy you did. Because you're going to get confirmation of this. Um, if you are going to some type of counseling or counselor with the high priestess and the higher font, I feel like they're confirming all the things that you are thinking. Whether this is like, I don't know why I want to say a grief counselor or a financial advisor or a therapist or whatever this is. Because I do feel like you are talking to someone that's um, confirming your beliefs and letting you know that you made the right decision you're going to be happy that you did with the page of cups this person is going to confirm this i just feel like you're the only person who made the right decision in this situation and people are just mad that you did that because how can you criticize the nine of pentacles someone's bitter you got the queen of swords with the five of swords and i feel like also you had this win at all cost attitude and mindset and it's like no one could get to you there could be, only thing I'm getting from this is that there could be some level of survivor's guilt, but that's it. Like overall, you made the right decision and it worked out well for you. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.